basically a group cash flow statement. If you look at question number three, boy required, question number three, boy required for 14 marks, they want us to give them a group cash flow, statement of cash flows in accordance with the IAS 7 statement of cash flows for the year ended 31st October 2017. 2017. Ladies and gentlemen, if that is the case, if it's a group cash flow statement, nitanzia wapi? Of course, najua, I wish my board was uh, able to do this. Najua lazima nianza na operating activities. So we have here operating activities. We have uh, operating. We have operating. So we have our operating activities. We have our operating operating activities uh -huh. which other activities do we have in our group cash flow statement which other activity do we have ladies and gentlemen so we have investing activities i'll come and provide here for investing activities for investing activities investing activities and then lastly ladies and gentlemen i have what here somebody lastly i'll continue with this lastly i have the finance i have the financing activities i have the financing activities which are come and underline you guys are lucky because you'll have one sheet you'll have one sheet now as a gentleman after financing activities of course i know that here i have shillings shillings i'll have to capture my currencies like that shillings shillings there right i have shillings here shillings here all right i uh -huh. shillings and shillings there all right so at the end of the deal, and gentlemen, I'll come and uh, capture something we call total movement, the total movement, the total movement in terms of my activities, I'll be able to get a figure there, right? I'll be able to get a figure there, which in this case, I'll be able to add, I'll be able to add the cash and the cash equivalents at the beginning and the cash equivalents, cash equivalent, cash equivalent brought forward or at the beginning, cash and the cash equivalent at the beginning, at the beginning. And then of course, the moment I add like that, I should be able to get the cash and the cash equivalent, cash and the cash equivalent, cash and the cash equivalent at the end, cash and the cash equivalent at the end, cash and the cash equivalent at the end. Now look at this, the free marks normally in Anzia Hapa. Yeah, we are using indirect method. Remember we had started doing this question yesterday. We are starting with the indirect method, yes. We are starting with the indirect method. So ladies and gentlemen, the free mark, I have some free marks here. This cash and the cash equivalents at the beginning. Is there somebody who can give me a figure for cash and the cash equivalent at the beginning? Cash and the cash equivalent at the beginning. Please look at uh, your current assets. Are you able to see the cash and the cash equivalents? Cash and cash equivalents at the beginning. Can somebody give me the figure, somebody? I don't know why they're not talking to me. I'm going to go to Leo. I'm going to go to Araka Leo. Leo to go to Araka Sana. Leo to go to Chezo. Kwa siku zote. Ukiangalia vizuri, to go to cash and bank balances. We have got two years. Yes, we have got two years. So the 2016th uh, cash and bank balance becomes my beginning balance. So this should be 390. This should be 390. And then I have now cash and the cash equivalent at the end, which is uh, the 2017 figure. The 2017 figure is gentlemen 390. The 2017 figure is 500. What year, somebody? 510. So, okay, I'm going to ask In most cases, we don't know make up a tick, tick, up a 0.5.5, meaning that you have gotten already one mark. And one mark for us, ladies and gentlemen, in advanced financial reporting, one mark is so huge. It can make you see places, places that you have never seen before. Places that you've never seen before. Great. Now, if you are together, ladies and gentlemen, then I'll be able to do my posting here very fast. And remember, for us here today, it's not even about balancing. We must agree from the beginning. Today, because it's the last lesson that we have, it will be about low-hanging fruits. What should you do for you to get 12 out of 14? What should you do for you to get 12 out of 14? So to kujeni hapa, katika operating, remember you're using indirect method there, eh? indirect method. So katika operating activities, to answer a profit before tax. So profit before tax. 
profit before tax. Are you able to see the profit before tax? Are you able to see the profit before tax? Are you able to see the profit before tax? Are you able to see the profit before tax? Are you able to see the profit before tax? Are you able to see the profit before tax? Tuende pole pole kwanza, profit before tax. Tuende pole pole kwanza, profit before tax. Please go straight away to the income statement that you have there. The income statement that you have there, what do we have somebody there as the profit before tax? Remember, income statement will be given to us for just one year, for just one year. And the balance sheet for cash flows, the balance sheet will be given balance sheet for how many years? For two years. Balance sheet will be given balance sheet for two years. So to end this up, pole pole pole, to nambiwa profit before tax, it is 699. It is 699 like that, 699. And then now you'll have to recall very fast, my good students, that when we talk of operating profit, we are or, or rather operating activity, we are supposed to start straight away with operating, uh, operating profit. Now operating profit mekufunza katika finance. Tunajua kombo operating profit is profit before interest and who? Profit before interest and tax. It is profit before interest and tax. It is profit before interest and tax. So meaning that, to get this figure, these guys, of course, must have subtracted the interest. They must have subtracted the interest. So what we need to do very fast is to add back what year? The interest. We must always begin from the profit before interest and tax. So are you able to see the interest for interest charge for the year? Interest charge for the year. Is there somebody who is able to see the interest charge for the year? Aha. Uh -huh. Well, some money 450, isn't it? If you look at uh, the income statement, they have given us the finance what year? They have given us the finance cost. So come here and add the finance cost here. Add the finance cost. So the finance cost on Nambia 400 what year? 50. If you wish, you can go ahead and add for you, to, for you to give us what we call profit before what? Interest and the tax, if you wish. I think it's a good thing to add finance cost those days nikifanya ma ACCA na ma CPA aliniambia hapa kwa hapa kwa profit before tax sumepatiwa figure ya 699 ukiangalia profit wamekupatia profit before tax wamekwambia ni 600 what ya somebody 99 great so kwenda juu kuna adjustments ambazo tunafaa tu, tufanye so unaangalia hizo figures kwenda juu unaangalia hizo figures kwenda juu Aha, uh -huh. there are adjustments in this case you're supposed to do. The first adjustment in Kenda Ju Pole Pole, the first adjustment near your finance cost, which I've said in this case here, add back. Nikienda Ju Pole Pole, wo ye, ukiangalea Ju Kenda Pole Pole nam nahio, kuna some element which is not good. Which element is that? Are you able to see the share of profit after tax your associate? Nanda Kwanda Ju. Are you able to see the profit of the share of profit after tax in associate? Yes. So the kujia poseme in this case here less, less the associates what here the associates profit here associates profit. So associate profit niya pesangapi somebody. Associate profit niya pesangapi. Associate profit niya one forty four. I have to deduct it simply because they had added the figure to arrive at this. Now can someone talk to me this afternoon? Why am I subtracting, ladies and gentlemen, this? associates profit why am i subtracting it it's because of what year misplacement upper the income has been recognized and I what year somebody operating activity and yet it's supposed to be accounted for under where under where it's supposed to be accounted for under where under investing we have invested what year in an associate we have invested in an associate, yes. We have invested in an associate. So it and badai, katika computation ya nini somebody, yeah, investing activity. Pio kiendelea kuenda ju. I'm still going up and up. I'm still going up and up. Are you able to see the gain on sale of a subsidiary? Are you able to see the gain on sale of a subsidiary? So less subsidiary gain. I simplify kidogo hapa imagina. Less subsidiary gain. How much, ladies and gentlemen, are you able to see there? How much are you able to see there? When I say my 100 and who? 120. We are subtracting because gain, they must have added. 
the gain, they must have done what here somebody for the gain, they must have added. For the gain, they must have added. Great. So tunaendelea vizuri, ukiangalia pia vizuri katika cost of sales. Katika cost of sales of course kutakuwa na depreciation. Ukiangalia note number, note number one. Ebu angalia note number one. Wanakuambia during the year ended 31st October 2017, depreciation of shillings 240 million was charged in relation to property, plant and water year equipment. That's number one. Number one. Angalia note number two. An item of property with a occurring value of 885 million was disposed of during the year ended 31st October 2017 for shilling 750 million. The loss is on disposal. The loss on disposal is part of the cost of what year? Part of the cost of sales. Part of the cost of sales. So ladies and gentlemen, here I have depreciation. I have depreciation. I have depreciation. So depreciation, depreciation, of course, we know it's a non-cash item. Depreciation is a, a non-cash item. And they used it in computation, computation of what here, the, pro, the profit. So then what should we do with this depreciation? It's non-cash. Depreciation is non-cash. I'm still going up. I'm still going up. Should I less? Should I less? I add back. You know, depreciation is an expense that these guys included wrongly, wrongly in the cost of what you say, sales, meaning that uh, our profit was taken two way down. So we need to make good. So how do we make good? We add back what year? Depreciation, thank you very much. So add back, depreciation. So add depreciation. So we are lucky because this has been computed for us. Depreciation of how much? Depreciation of how much, ladies and gentlemen? 240 positive. 240 positive. From there, we also have this loss. The loss. The loss on disposal. Loss on disposal of this asset. We know that also that loss is fictitious. It's fictitious. So come here and give us the loss. Could you kindly calculate for me the loss on disposal? The loss on disposal. Is there somebody who can calculate for me the loss on disposal, loss on disposal. When I say 100, what year? 35. When I say 135. So this 135, should I add it back or in this case, yes, subtract? How did we get the 135? To get the 135, it's very easy. We've looked at uh, how much we received. We received the cash we received here from the asset from note number two was 750. And what in this case here is the carrying amount. The carrying amount is 885. Any an asset which is worth 885, see to cause uh, 750. To cause a 750. To cause a 750. So you will be able to bear witness with me that this will give us a, a whole loss of 135. 135. And this loss we are told was expensed in the cost of sales. So then how do we make good now? How do we make good now? How do we make good? How do we make good? How do we make good? We add. So add loss on what here somebody? Add loss on disposal. Add loss on disposal. Add loss on disposal. Aya. Kitunyo nofa kujua. Easy vitu kizi ukizi tumia. Kamu unafanya group cash flow statement. Whenever you pick up some items from your notes or from the financial statements, it's important that you keep on ticking them. It's important that you keep on ticking them. Like there is a question that students asked, what about, what about, there's something they asked there, but later on we shall be able, because we shall be able to check which items are not ticked like that. Nasta jifos kuangalia kila kitu. Kama sasa, for example, malimefika hapa, ata sasa jifos kuangalia kwanza mambo ya tax. Nita kuja ni wache la inikadha. Ni wache line kadha. Line kama ngapi tuna wacha hapa? Tu wache lines kadha. Tu wache lines kadha. Right? Like now what Joy is saying. Tu wache lines kama tano eh. Tu wazipata mbele tu. Tu wache lines kama tano. Alafu kuja hapo niandikie uh, working capital changes. Working capital changes. Hata vitu kama tax takuja badai. But I want to teach you how you, what you need to do for you to keep the wheel rolling. Because the concept is to keep the wheel rolling. You keep the wheel rolling. So working capital changes. Working capital changes. 
So working capital changes, what do we have yesterday? You told me that under working capital, we normally have three things. Under working capital, we normally have three things. What and what and what? Uh -huh. So we have inventory. Thank you very much, Meshak. We have inventory here. Uh -huh. We have uh, the next one is what here? Receivables, receivables, receivables. The last one, ladies and gentlemen, is what I've seen some of you. Many and the apple, the payables. Thank you very much, mother. Ah, yeah, to answer that inventory, inventory. This is very easy. What you're supposed to know, Katika, cash flow statement, whenever you are dealing with assets, whenever you are dealing with assets, whenever you are dealing with liabilities, 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 we always use the concept of commanding officer. We always use the concept of what here? Commanding officer. Mayom is asking, what of tax up the stack to cram? It's a good badai. Mayom, so you want a space up. You want a space. Someone to Kenza Kutik, to Kenza Kutik is Stakuja Pekaka to automatically. Automatically, Daka to stack it to cram. Stack it to cram, stack it to cram, stack it to cram. Daka to Wenza Kutik, Tik Vito about me, to Meguza. Study letters, Zenye, Zenyewe. Sasa, Mayom. Thank you very much. So, unafaa kujua kwamba liabilities ni commanding officer. Liabilities ni mbaya, zinaza kukomand, zinaza fonyo fungi biyashara. Yani, for liabilities, we shall always be taking closing minus opening. Unafaa kujua hivo. Closing minus opening. Najua uja understand, lakini kuwanza andika tuna muna hiyo. Closing minus opening. <laughs> closing minus opening. And for assets, it shall always be the opposite. Itakuwa ni opening, itakuwa ni opening, minus what here somebody, minus closing. Always opening minus closing, opening minus closing. I know you haven't understood anything, but first of all, please tell me, have you written these two things somewhere? Have you written these two things somewhere, please? Yes, now you understand? Yes. Tukorada, great. Uyuhari atuni mwanafuzi mugeni, nanayambia korada kabisa, which is very good, which is very good. Which is very good. Sasa, tuanza na inventory. And then remember, ladies and gentlemen, remember that all adjustments are normally done to the opening values. We normally, whenever we have got changes in between the year, we normally, uh, we normally, we normally, in this case, ladies and gentlemen, adjust the opening balances. What do I mean? Tuanza na receivable. Ah, I'm not receivable, but inventory. Inventory, ladies and gentlemen, are you able to, you know, inventory is an asset. Inventory is an asset. Are you able to see the opening balance of inventory? Kutoka kwa balance sheet. Inventory. Angalia current assets. Oh yeah. Inventory. Shiga na. Opening ya 2016. Wanasema ni 30. 3900 is your opening. Wewe. In ya 2017, you're closing. 2017, you're closing. 2016, you're opening. Opening ni 30. Opening pale ni kiangalia vizuri. Mi kama anuna vizuri. Ni 3090. So opening up and 3090, so unajiuliza, did we have any changes uh, in the group? Did we have any changes? We call them legal changes, either acquisitions of uh, new subsidiaries, it is yama disposal. Yes, we did. Tulikuwa na disposal katika note number two. Katika note number two. Now your asset, I mean your dis uh, subsidiary about to dispose, ilikuwa na, ilikuwa na inventory ya pesa ngapi? In inventory of person got, we disposed 90. So disposed means we are subtracting. So I'm making the adjustment to the opening. Minus 90, minus 90, that is it. And then now I come and subtract the closing inventory for the entire group. Closing inventory for the entire group. Closing inventory for the entire group. In Akuja Ngapi, 3,900. In Akuja 3,900. In Akuja 3,900. Ebuni figure in Akuja Ngapi at the end of the day. Total figure na kuja nga piwo yesi NY. Uongo. Uongo. Inakuja minus what here somebody? Is there somebody who is able to get minus 39, minus 900? Are we getting minus 900? I'm a positive 900. 900, outflow. 900, outflow. 900, outflow. Good question there. Sasa, ata staki mwanza kumiki argument ya outflow. Mini kifanya ni vigilation ya exams wana urumia wana funzi. Unapata jama, hii vitu wananza kufikiria, now is this an increase? Why should you do that? Right? Ukipanga na mnaiki kitu mekuambia commanding officer, at the end of the day ukipata negative, unandika negative, bila kufikiria. 
bila kufikiria wacha tuone wanasema namna gani wanasema 900 is it an inflow or an outflow <laughs> is it an inflow or an outflow hiyo <laughs> ndio staki wa rafuzi wangu wachanganyikiwe nataka nirudie tena nataka nirudie tena woye please allow mwalimu arudie tena allow mwalimu arudie tena allow mwalimu arudie tena ukitaka hata naweza kachora t account eh ukitaka mwalimu anaweza kachora t account aseme inventory inventory tuseme hapa balance in this case here brought down so balance brought down ile ya 2016 the balance brought down ile ya 2016 ilikuwa ni 30 3090 ilikuwa ni 3090 ile ya 2016 3090 na kuna balance carried down ile ya current year which is 2017 which is 3000 what year somebody 3900 3900 right and then we had disposal we had in this case here a disposal a disposal we disposed some inventories with our subsidiaries inventory with our subsidiary which was disposed ilikuwa ngapi somebody subsidiary disposed inventory nyimu niliambia ni 90 nyimu nieleza ni 90 sasa hebu kuja niongezee please nipatie hii side kubwa hii side kubwa itakuwa 3990 kwa hivyo hii lazima pia ikuwe 3990 si ni kweli 3990 right 3990 so then the balancing figure here the balancing figure here inakuja ngapi somebody the balancing figure the balancing figure inakuja ngapi somebody inakuja 900 inakuja 900 so this balancing figure is gentlemen basically what are we doing we have debited we have debited our inventory with 900 and credited what here somebody our bank credited our bank we have credited our bank if you credit your bank what does it mean It means ladies and gentlemen that it is a cash outflow it is a cash outflow alafu msianze ku cram msianze ku cram ile kitu at the increase hizo mimi najua sana at the increase at in working capital at in a uh, uh. because ukiangalia like there's a sitting there is a sitting here they brought a situation where one subsidiary was acquired in the year and another subsidiary in this case was done, was done what year dispo disposed in the year is there a student who can remember that kind of a question where they gave us a, a situation where a subsidiary was acquired in the year and another subsidiary was sold in the year is there somebody who can remember something like that yeah so unajua kiambua kwamba subsidiary ilikuwa disposed in the year nitasema hapa minus 90 na kama kuna subsidiary nyingine ambayo ilikuwa acquired in the year nitakuja niseme perhaps hapa plus what plus 80 so i make all my adjustments to the opening stock and then i not not stock but I opening figures and then i subtract the closing like that and then ikipata hii figure ikiwa ni minus 900 i'll not start in this case as a gentleman asking i will not start asking questions come but what happened to working capital it, no 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 nikipata minus figure that is it i know it's it's what here somebody it's a cash outflow it's a cash outflow sasa si nikupatia dakika moja ukitumia this shortcut wewe unifanyia receivables tuone hebu nifanyia receivables tuone nifanyia receivables tuone nifanyia receivables tuone bila kufanya arguments nataka kuona mwanafunzi akisema arguments is that is we bought whatever i don't want to see those things nataka shortcut because remember this entire question has to be done in maximum of 40 minutes in a maximum of 40 minutes wanasema kwamba it's 135 negative thank you very much so receivables ladies and gentlemen i have to begin with opening opening figures so for receivables the opening figure i'm being told is 3120 are you able to see it's 3120 are you able to see it's 3120 the opening for inventory yes did we sell or buy any subsidiary in the year we sold a subsidiary which had some receivable receivable of 100 what year 35 we sold we sold so the receivable sold here will be minus 135 like that and then now minus the closing receivables figure the receivables figure for 2017 the receivables figure for 2017 which was what somebody here which was 3120 which was 3120 so could you kindly give me the final figure na kuja minus what here minus 135 so mimi wewe ukiendelea kupiga piga ma elbows yako ukisema is it an any crisis mimi na songa na songa na songa If we using this shortcut nipatieni figure ya payables jameni using this shortcut ya payables nipatieni uh, the shortcut nipatieni figure ya payables 
Nipatini figure ya pebbles, nipatini figure ya pebbles, nipatini figure ya pebbles, using this shortcut, ebu nipatie figure ya pebbles. Wanasema ni plus 17, 10. Wanasema ni plus 17, 10. Plus 17. Pebbles is a liability. And for liabilities, as I do my computations, as I want to get whether we had an increase or a decrease, kama staki my arguments mingi, kama umezeka kama mimi, unajua liabilities always in a commanding officer. Yani ni closing minus what ya somebody minus opening. Was confused tafadhali. Closing minus opening. So unajuliza what was the closing payables figure? What was the closing payables figure? Are you able to see the closing payables figure? Closing payables figure. Is there somebody who is able to see the closing payables figure? Wanasema at 29.55. So wanasema 29.55 minus the opening. You know I don't do adjustments in the closing. I always do my adjustments in the opening. Is there somebody who is able to see the opening payables? Opening payables. Is there somebody who is able to see the opening payables? When I say money 17, 65, 17, 85, 17, 85. But remember, from this opening, you're supposed to adjust for what year? For any payables that were disposed with the subsidiary. For any payables that were disposed with the subsidiary. Is it equal what and gap is some of the payables disposed with the subsidiary? Payables disposed with the subsidiary, 540, like this. So, if bracket zangu ziko. Kama nige kuwa wata ningeanza na bracket, nichukue this minus this. Whatever I get, I'll come and say 29.55 minus whatever we have there. Whatever we have there. What are we able to see somebody? The final answer. 17 what year? 17.10. Sasa nisikizeni, unajua na poite hivi to payable, awezu kanza kumeka an argument that kumbe ni minus, apana, ECFM, apana. Si zote ni payable zote, like that. So is it positive? 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 Ah, great. So positive like that. Unawachana nayo. Unawachana nayo. Sasa, hiyo unawacha ka space ka kutosha kama line mbili. Siyo mingi sana. Unawacha space ya kutosha kama line ngapi? Line mbili. Niambie kama umewacha space jameni. Niambie kama umewacha space jameni. Umewacha space, eh? Line mbili, alafu sasa unatafuta free, low hanging marks. Unenda kwa the next one. Unenda kwa the next one. The next bunch of activities, unazita investing activities. Investing activities, oh yeah. Investing activities, investing activities, investing activities, we are basically looking at, uh, generally, in most cases, investing activities, we are, we are looking at the movements in property, non-current assets, basically. Non-current assets. Non-current assets. We normally invest in non-current who? Non-current assets. Sasa unendo kisoma pole pole. And I hope you guys are ticking those things. Is 540 added. Goja. Goja kidogo. Wana sema ni 630. Goja kidogo. Goja. Hapo ni mwashinda kidogo. Mwashinda kidogo. Hapo ngoja kidogo. Goja kidogo. He's getting 630. He's getting 630. Tumia brackets poa. Tumia brackets poa. Unambio hapa. Tafadhali. Kwanza kuja hapa kwa hii e, e, e bracket. Sema 17 at 5 minus 540. Mayomu napata ngapi. And then whatever you get, deduct it from 29.55. Deduct it from 29.55. Deduct it from uh, uh, 29.55. Are you able to get that 17.10 positive? Yes. Great. Now we can continue. Thank you very much for asking that. Now we can continue. So in investing activities, I'm basically looking at the disposal of assets. That is a divestment. Divestment, we get money, right? Or a procurement of what year? Assets. Procurement of non-current assets. Procurement of long-term assets. So unanza kuangalia swali pole pole. Atunazo kanza na note upper. Ebu tuanza na note number one. Tuanza na note number one. Note number one. What are they telling us in note number one? Note number one. Note number one. Wanasema, during the year ended 31st October 2017, depreciation of shillings to 40 million was charged in relation to property, plant, and equipment. Aya, yu na jyo nita itumia mahali. 
lakini twende kwa namba 2 kwanza an item of property with a carrying value of 885 million was disposed of during the year end 31st October 2017 for how much somebody 750 million so in this one here directly which figure should i capture here should i use that 885 year or 750 you know it's an asset that was disposed so it's like divestment divestment we are get, going to get, we are going to, of course to lose an asset but we shall get money we shall get money 750 years so unasema hapa cash received cash received cash received from from cash received uh, from uh, an asset disposed from an asset disposed mbesha shiga na wanasema ni 750 wanafunzi wengine wakiendelea kufikiria zaidi mark inaingia tu kitu ya maana hapo ni mark kuingia so cash received from an asset in this case here that was done what year disposed hii mimi najiwanga sana sasa najua nikiwa na cash received mpero najua next atakuwa ni cash paid cash paid najua hii sana cash paid in this case here to acquire who to acquire an asset to acquire assets to acquire new ppe to acquire new ppe imi nitapata haraka sana hebu nikupatie dakika moja nione kama unaweza kupata hiyo cash which in this case here was paid in this case here for us to acquire ppe to acquire ppe cash which was paid to acquire ppe haya nimeona property plant and equipment nimeona property plant and equipment wanasema 900 ester anasema 69 something eh note 4 meskip ananiambia mwalimu check note 4 additional property plant and equipment was acquired by way of lease amounting to 900 million during year ended 31st october 2017 lease aitakuja direct hapa itaingia kwa working hapa hapa because lease no money was involved directly no money was involved directly ina na ndo wanatoa wapi nataka kujua sana uoye na ina ndo hebu niambieni wanafunzi wangu na ina ndo mmetoa wapi please niambieni na ina ndo mmetoa wapi ningetaka sana kujua please ni explain kidogo not 3 not 3 not 3 na ina ndo na ina ndo sio ni ina ndo no 3 sio na nando ah 900 ile ni alice ile ni alice ile ni alice hapa itabidi ladies and gentlemen hapa tuchore t account ngao mimi spend t account at all but please let's do a t account for this property plant and equipment let's do this t account for property plant and equipment so for property plant and equipment t account see the asset so unasema hapa balance brought down so Balance brought down ilikuwa ngapi somebody balance brought down ilikuwa ngapi somebody balance brought down ilikuwa ngapi somebody ya PPE 13 500 akimu umeanza kuchoka ama mimi ndo na, na, na wajaji vibaya akinyi umeanza kuchoka umeanza kuchoka woye umeanza kuchoka woye muko rada eh hiyo ndio kitu ya maana zaidi hiyo ndio kitu ya maana zaidi wanasema mwalimu si tuko rada zina sink thank you very much now as a gentleman straight away i have the balance which was carried down here So balance carried down ni how much? Balance carried down ya PPE ni ngapi? Aha, wanasema ni 18,000. 18,000. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, some of the things that will make this PPE value to go down, I know them. For example, I know depreciation will reduce this. Remember this are net book values, eh? The net book values, depreciation. Is there somebody who is able to see depreciation for this PPE? Depreciation ya ngapi somebody Note number 1 240 thank you very much the other thing that will make this uh, particular item here to disappear ladies and gentlemen to, to to reduce will be the subsidy that we sold the subsidy that we sold went away with some ppe went away with some property so the sub sold the sub sold sub sold in this case here we have 2025 the sub sold was 2025 the sub sold was 2025 ladies and gentlemen i could see some new arrivals i could see some new arrivals from note number 4 i can see there was some additional property so note number 4 there was the leased property the leased property nowadays nowadays when you lease property it is your asset remember long term they have even told us additional property plant and they have, they have even classifying it for us 
Additional property, plant, and equipment was acquired by way of lease, which is what here somebody, which is 900. Do we have any other any other item that will affect our PPE? Any other item that will affect our PPE of property with a carrying value of 885? You guys are bright, bright students. So disposed asset, disposed asset is 885. Any other? <laughs> Don't give us the cash here, remember. It's PPE. Then we have students who are saying that we have a revaluation. Revaluation. So is it a, re a revaluation upwards or a revaluation downwards? A revaluation upwards or a revaluation downwards? It's a revaluation upwards, meaning, meaning that I, I debit my PPE credit revaluations account. So I'll come here and debit my PPE with a revalued amount, a revaluation. Revaluation of how much? Revaluation of how much? Revaluation of how much? 60. Mina kwambia wanafunzi makosa wanafunzi ufanya so utapata kama sasa hivi tunasoma kitu kama novel you guys are not ticking you must tick everything you must tick everything including the items of the sole subsidy that you have been able to use you must tick them you tick them you tick them so i don't know ladies and gentlemen whether we still have any other item that will affect our ppe any other item that will affect our ppe i doubt isn't it so please give me the totals here Please give me the total is here. 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 Please give me the total. Eco. Uh, we mesema 21, 150. 21, in the Kuba Ukweli. In 21, 150. In 21, 21, 150. Meaning that the balancing figure, it akuja pande hii. Balancing figure. The evaluation amount is from where? Revolution amount is from where? It's from note number six. Note number six. From note na number six. So on an MB in 66, what here somebody? In 6690. In 6690. 6690. So what do you think is this 6690 to us? Is it a flower? I can see my assets went up, isn't it? Yeah, my assets went up. So these must be the assets that we paid for in cash. So these one here must be the assets, ladies and gentlemen, that we have here, which are, uh, uh, which perhaps we paid through a check like that. So we shall debit PPE, we credit bank, we credit bank. So in this case, ladies and gentlemen, what I want you to write there is uh, a cash paid uh, to acquire assets. I have already the figure, the, the, the words here. Cash paid to acquire assets here. To acquire PPE, when I say money 66, what year? 6690, like that. 6690. 6690. Acquisition of PPE. Aya. Bado mukorada, ama bado, ama mmenza kuchoka sasa. Wakorada kweli. Awana wangu, wakorada, maneno. Yeah, for PPE, you can go for T account. For PPE, you can go for a T account aha uh aha -huh. uh -huh. it's negative because of what your cash paid it's negative thank you very much it's negative because of cash that was done what year that was paid allow me to change my battery dakamoja what i know for ppe that will be t account will be very good also dividends especially dividends that for you to get dividends paid to nci it will be good for you to have what year a t account Great. Thank you very much, Becky. Try, try as much as possible to give answers to my students. So cash pay to acquire PPE. It's a cash outflow. It's a cash outflow. Oh yeah. Kumbuka, invest, investing activities, unangalia pale non-current. Unangalia non-current, what is somebody? Unangalia non-current, non-current, unangalia non-current assets. Ukiona goodwill, ukiona goodwill, ladies and gentlemen, of course, in this case, you must think of uh, your, subsi your subsidiary. Subsidiary. Goodwill has an association with what year? Subsidiary. So I would want to know, when I disposed this subsidiary of mine, how much cash did I receive? Because it's a cash flow I'm more interested in, I'm more interested in the cash that was done what year somebody the cash that was 
received. The cash that was received. The cash that was received. Cash that was received. So mukini allow nta buta ija meni hi. So now I'm perusing through. I'm perusing through my non-current assets. Nimeona kuna kitu ito goodwill. Goodwill has got every relationship with what we call a subsidiary. And for the subsidiary, ladies and gentlemen, for the subsidiary, I'll come straight away here and account for the cash received, received on disposal, on disposal of a sub in a kwangani free mark. Tulipata mbesha shiga na mbesha shiga na niki jaman, niki jaman. Tulipata pesa ngapi tulipo uza hii subsidiary. Aha. Tulipata 1170. 11. Lakini kumukeni pia po usidanganyike. Hii subsidiary pia ilienda na pesa zingine. Kuna pesa ilienda na azo. Ilikuwa na cash itself. Some cash which went away with it. There is some cash which went away with it. Are you able to see the cash and bank balance under this subsidiary which was sold? Aha. Uh -huh. It was what here somebody? It was 105. It was 105. It was 105. Apa, in free mark. Free mark. So, okay, now we dispose asset. We received fine 1170. Like in subsidiary, to kiuza, ilikuwa na pesa flani kwa mfuku, ike? Ike, na nasa, unangoa, is a 105. Unangoa, is a 105. Which in this case, it gives us what, here, somebody 1065. 1065. Ah, yeah. Unangalia mbele, ladies and gentlemen, unangalia, unangalia kuangalia in uncurrent assets, eh? Uncurrent assets. Ladies and gentlemen, remember, in the non-current assets, I can see I have investment in associate. I'm an investor. I've invested in an associate, right? I've invested in an associate. I've invested in an associate. I've invested in an associate. So come here and give us, ladies and gentlemen, come here straight away. I can see what those students are saying there. Later on, we shall be able to make those adjustments. Stack to cram, and that's the back is kihang, eh? Come with 600, it's a bag kihang. What I'm going to add to, to take a add, to take a add. I'm going to take a look at this. I'm going to take a look at this. No, no, no. And after all, I could even assume Kwame Oni long term, isn't it? Ah, yeah. To could you happen, ladies and gentlemen? Now, Sasapo Kiangalia Vizuri, Kuna, if I've invested in a subsidiary, and to could you happen to send dividends? Dividends received. Dividends received from where? From subsidiary. Dividends received from not subsidiary. We can never receive money. We can never claim cash dividends received from ourselves. We this is a big mistake on my side. The only dividend that we can claim to receive is dividend from third parties. Like associates are normally claimed to be our third parties and the joint ventures. And the joint ventures. So this cannot be an, a, a, a subsidiary. This should be dividends received from dividends received from where? From an associate. From, we are investors from an associate. Ah, yeah. So that's a any figure. Nipati any figure to one eh? dividends that we received from our associate. Has it been given? Has it been given in the question? Uh, have these dividends here been given in the question? Kila mwana fuzi nasema 54, but they're not telling us ziko wapi. They're not telling us ziko wapi. Dividends received. Dividends received from the associate. They're not telling us zimetoka wapi. Working, eh? Aya, ebu wako mbio mbio munipatie figa jameni. Dividends in this case, here, which have been received from the associate. What are we getting there? Working. Andika figures wengine waone ndi unajua unajua. Andika figures. Andika figures araka raka. Tuone kwa unazijua kabisa kweli. Tuone kwa unajua kabisa kweli. <laughs> Wala mbao wanaongea hapo ni wachache Wachache, wachache sana Wachache sana ni wanaongea Wachache sana ni wanaongea Wachache kabisa mbona wanaongea wachache 
namna hiyo na ni kitu straight forward ni kitu straight forward ni kitu straight forward where are we getting 1170 from 1170 from this note from this note i'm leaving uh, some of them uh, from note number 3 note number 3 from note number 3 from note number 3 wamengangana wote so kila mwanafunzi anaona kweli yo working mali imetoka kila mwanafunzi kweli ameona yo working kweli ya 420 wengi hawaoni yo, yo figures wengi hawaoni hizo figures abracadabra bila jaona bado napata dakika mbili dakika mbili nikirudi tena sasa nikumalize swali yote once kiria fikiria vitu za jaona bado kiria fikiria this is a straight forward one not yet fikiria kidogo dakika moja fikiria dakika moja kidogo nikirudi sana nikumbio case here go straight away and even put down a t account if you like the t account I know perhaps it's because some of you like this tier account so much. Just give us there an associate, which is an investment, it's an asset to us, right? So give us the balance brought down. Balance brought down. I'd given you the, I'd given you the where to get this uh, thing from the non-current assets. The balance brought down. I can see the balance brought down there in 2016 was 420, 420. And then as a gentleman, we have uh, the balance carried down in 2017. Balance carried down in 2017. Balance carried down in 2017 for the associate investment in associate. For investment in associate, the balance carried down is 510. And then, of course, this is equity. Remember, it's equity accounting. If it's equity accounting, we are more concerned with the profitability of either the associate or the joint venture. So, this associate, do we know the share of the profit of the associate? Yes, in the income statement they have given us. They have given us. So in this case, in the income statement, I can see it's a profit. So credit on the P and the L. So it has to be a debit on this. So here we have share of profit. Share of profit. So share of profit, I can see there is 144. Is 144. So when I add the two, when I add the two, ladies and gentlemen, when I add the two, I'll be able to see that this side is bigger. So this will be 564. And this is 510. Of course, the difference will be the dividend. That this associate paid, so the dividend which was paid here is uh, 54. The dividend which the associate paid is 54. So you can see it's uh, accrued on the associate. So meaning that uh, it must be a debit in our bank account. So it's cash that was received, cash received from the associate. Dividend received from the associate. We have 50. What here, somebody? We have 54. Dividend received from the associate. We have 54 like that. Now, if I'm the one doing this, ladies and gentlemen, in, a, in an exam, I'll not bother with that again so much there. Here, I've been able to harvest a few things. I'll straight away go to the financing activities. Advanced financial reporting is not about getting everything. It's about harvest, harvesting maximum number of marks. So can we go to the financing activities? Can we go to the financing activities? Financing activities, yes, yes. So unakuja hapo unaandika straight away, financing activity. If you go looking for perfection, for perfection, for perfection, in advanced FR, utapata shida sana. It's low hanging fruits, yes. Myself, I got awards, especially for financial reporting, the one that I'm even uh, so happy about, is the one that I got uh, for advanced financial reporting in ACCA, in ACCA, right? And I've never balanced even a single kwe, especially when I was a student, I never used to balance them. It's about being able to do maximum in the short duration, in the short duration, yes. So unakuja hapa kwa financing activities. So financing activities. So financing activities, Financing activities, unangalia section gani ya balance sheet. Financing activities, unangalia section gani ya balance sheet. Unamuachia examine afanya, yes. Unangalia equity, equity sana sana, equity is yes. 
equity sana sana equities kwa hivyo straight away na muandikia share capital na muandikia share capital kabla ujue ni kama ni cash received ama ni cash paid au unaacha hivyo share capital uh, i go to my balance sheet i'm able to see under equity i'm able to see ordinary share under premium unazi combine unazi combine so we have share, share capital and what is somebody and share premium share capital and share premium share capital and share premium you analyze them together yes analyze them together so share capital and share premium ladies and gentlemen are you able to see the closing balance are you able to see the closing balance ya share capital and the premium abracadabra closing balance wo ye ni 6000 plus 9000 oh. plus 900 plus 900 plus 900 like that minus in this case here the opening minus the opening 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 ni ngapi somebody wo ye ukiangalia opening share capital ni 4500 4500 4500 plus premium hapo ni zero premium ni zero kumbukeni ndizo angelo mimi napata examiner akikudanganya at times examiner anadanganya anakuja anakuambia pale kwa ile disposed subsidiary kwamba share capital ilikuwa maybe ni 500 atana expect kujo subtract hapa remember when we were consolidating we only took the share capital of who the parent only isn't it we only took the share capital of the parent only of the parent only of the parent only kwa hivyo inatosha wao ye nipatieni figure inakuja ngapi nipatieni figure inakuja ngapi somebody 2400 so is it cash uh, is it positive or negative is it positive or negative is it positive or positive so if it is positive what does it mean we received money so you must have issued new shares so you can mention here this is cash received cash received cash received like that we talk with the broad and deep understanding of the subject unamwandikia hapa dash from issue of what year new shares but do you have that time no you don't have that time you don't have that time you don't have that time unasonga mbele unasonga mbele na ladies and gentlemen from there nimeona mwanafunzi akisema nimeona mwanafunzi akisema j mwalimu j mwalimu dividend paid dividend paid was nakuwa accounted under where dividend paid dividend paid wanga zinakuwa accounted under where kumbuka kuna dividends that you receive you receive dividends when you invest but when you are paying it is other people invested in you other people invested in your company so other people financed you other people financed you other people financed you right right other people financed you wewe keep ko real hata ikiwa negative haina shida wewe weka hata negative acha nizi narrations in narration za exam ni hata angalia hata ukiandika tu share capital and premium wacha leo maneno hiyo mingi hiyo we hapa ya we kuja hapa niandikieni sasa hapa financing so umesema dividends paid these people financed you so dividends paid so dividends paid are you able to see the parent alilipa ngapi parent the dividends that we paid to the parent shareholders iko note number ngapi note number 5 eh note number 5 note number 5 wanasema dividends paid uh, dividends paid by the holding company during the year so our holding company paid 120 unaka brackets right okay great and then as a gentleman we have in this case here dividends paid in this case here to our nci this is a working that i'll never do not unless the examiner gives me this figure directly not unless the examiner gives me this figure directly i'll never do it the exam ndamwandikia namna hii mwambia hata yeye mwenyewe examiner mwandikie kwa bracket working ndakufanyia ndio lakini itakuwa ya mwisho itakuwa ya mwisho nci itakuwa ya mwisho inasumbua bure hiyo kitu because lazima utafute good will ya nci alone right ndakufanyia lakini acha afanye mbele after all there's there is so much ya kuangalia great Ladies and gentlemen apart from that what other investments are you look, not investments but financing are you looking at aha aha what else are you looking at what else are you looking at 
loans, yes. Remember, actually, repayment of loans, yes. Borrowing, yes. Remember, actually, financing activities, you know, the way we say assets financed by equity and liabilities. So this should be equity and liabilities, yes. So please check whether there are any loans that you borrowed. Uh -huh. Any loans in this case that we borrowed? Let me give you a minute to give me these loans, the bank loans. In this case, ladies and gentlemen, that were done over here, bank loans. So we have the bank loans. We have the bank loans there. You can see the bank loans, ladies and gentlemen, that we have here have been accounted for under non current what? Liabilities. Non current liabilities. Non current liabilities. Non current liabilities. Great. A thousand addition. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. For bank loans, how much do we borrow or how much do we retire? How much do we borrow or how much did we retire? What I say, my 1800? 1800? Ah. Let's leave 1800. Mimi na part of that 600. Mimi to kona aseto and ru 1200. Obadia mulinge 1800. 1800. 1800. Yes. So can I go to something different? 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 Bank loans is a must. For cash flow, you have Bank loans is a must. You have to make right? <laughs> to a idea. Either you pick a T account, I'm going to say me up a bank loan. Bank loan. Bank. It's a liability. So if it's a liability, if it's a liability, I must start with closing. It's a liability, just like equity. I have to start with the closing. Closing. Closing figures minus opening figures. So the bank loan that I can see, ladies and gentlemen, here. The bank loan that I can see, ladies and gentlemen, here closing for 2017 was 4,200. 4,200, I can see 4,200 minus the opening. So opening is 3,000, but remember, opening, we must make adjustments. Opening, we must make adjustments. Opening, we must make adjustments. I'm happy because I can see Chantia Mesema, Malimi Mepata Mwangaza, Eibaneno. So opening, we must make adjustments. So what adjustment are we making here for opening? Kuna kakitu ambao kalikuwa disposed. Na kalikuwa na kabank loan. Ile bank loan mkumu na nyambia mna ndanganya hati niweke maale flani uko juu. Uongo. So hiyo likuwa ni disposed subsidiary 600. 600 like that. Abracadabra. Abracadabra ye ina manno mengi. Ebu sub, hii subtract hii. Alafu less kwa hii. For 200. Unyambia na kuja ngapi? 1800. So this 1800, is it a positive or a negative? Is it positive or negative? Shetan <laughs> It's positive. So if it's positive, ata si lazimu andike narration, wea wachana ikiwa po? Positive. Si lazimu andike narration, wachana ikiwa positive. It's a cash inflow. Wachana ikiwa hivo. Wachana ikiwa hivo. Wachana ikiwa hivo. Wachana ikiwa hivo. Ah, yeah. The other thing, ladies and gentlemen, remember we have some obligations there. Kuna obligations under finance lease. Umona obligations under finance lease, right? Obligations under finance lease are kuja hapo straight away. Obligations, obligations under finance lease. Kitu ya mana ni kuomba zasa, ukenda kwa exam, hawezi ukatoka bure. Obligations under finance lease. Wamenipatia figure 390 quite fast. Wanambia mwalimu yu sijari na ayo. It mejua. Obligations under finance lease. Obligations under finance lease. Kumbuka zikombili, hape na fall under current 
and a current and a non current ukaambua na mwalimu when there are two of them when there are two of them lazima uzi consolidate you must consolidate them ukiangalia pale tuko na obligations under finance lease kumbuka tunaanza na closing so mimi naona pale 6:30 naona 6:30 plus the one which is under current under current i can see is it 45 the current one the current one wamekata mokash okay hebu tuangalie hiyo aha tuangalie hiyo so wanasema in 40 what year 45 minus opening so the opening what are you able to see there under opening under opening ladies and gentlemen under opening what are we able to see there under opening opening we have 135 so 135 135 plus what year somebody 135 plus who plus 135 plus 30 plus 30 Kumbukeni during the period you also had some lease. During the period kulikuwa na some lease kampia. Mnakukumbuka kweli? Oh yeah, mnakumbuka lease mpya? Yes, 900. 900. Unakuja unaongeza namna hiyo utapatia. Kumbuka all adjustments are normally done in the opening figures. All adjustments are normally done in the opening figures. All adjustments are normally done in the opening figures not number 4 yes not number 4 yes all adjustments are normally done in opening figures never forget that and ensure that you're using your body mass very well so then what is the obligation amount there it's negative so kwa negative hakuna kujali so there is a sister who is telling us mwalimu the way i'm thinking the way she is thinking at sasa hapa kulikuwa na bank loan brought forward bank loan brought forward Bank loan brought forward. Bank loan brought forward in 2400 after adjustment eh? And then we have bank loan, bank loan carried forward. Bank loan carried forward. They are make argument opposite. Ukiona bank loan carried forward is more. What does it mean? These people must have given you more cash. These people must have given you more cash. These people must have given you more cash. So it's a cash what here, a cash inflow to your side. A cash inflow to your side. Jamie and Uliza 630. Please repeat for obligation. So for obligation what do we have? We have the closing figures. Obligation George angalia. George angalia obligation kuna ile closing ya 2017 ya 630. Right? Alafu kuna obligation under finance lease under current ya 80 not 84 but 45. George are you able to see that? So we added the two, right? George, George, and uh, uh -huh. yes, thank you very much. And then now minus the opening finance leases. So we have both of them, non-current and current. And then during the year, we added more finance leases worth 900. We added more finance leases worth 900. We added more finance leases worth 900, which have been given in note number four. Note number four, that's what we did. Alafu kitu mimi najua sana. Mimi nimefunza hiki kitu sana. One thing I know and you will come to tell me. Ukishika shortcut ya kufanya hivi hiyo kitu ya kujiuliza ati should I add or reduct? Nasumbua na nafunzi sana. Ukishika shortcut nianza na kufunza nayo ya liability closing minus opening. Assets opening minus liability then you will be able to move very fast in this thing. Under financing there is something you guys haven't told me. Remember you borrowed heavily. There are bank loans that you have those bank loans do you return them kavu kavu bank loans you must pay some interest yeah you must pay some interest so in this case here come and give us the last thing here of interest paid interest paid give us the last thing there of interest paid give us the last thing there of interest paid interest that was paid so this one again i would want to give you a minute please do it there and give us the working there interest paid you could either decide that you will get some people saying you bring it here out of the whatever cash flows but we would rather bring it under the financing under the financing would rather bring it under the financing would rather bring this under the financing would rather bring this under the financing
ningekuwa nilikuwa nisha kimbia very fast and something they are calling accrued interest accrued interest Kumbuka the interest which you have in the income statement is the interest that uh, basic is the interest for the year but it was not the amount that we paid it is not the amount that we paid the amount we paid we must involve the obligations at the beginning and obligations at the end so the interest is gentlemen there the interest paid at the end of the day there itakuwa namna gani woye woye itakuwaje interest paid ndakuja hapa interest paid interest paid so interest paid so the interest paid here i'll take of course this is a loan it's an obligation i mean so if it's, a, if it's an obligation i'm taking closing minus opening so interest paid i can see interest paid ladies and gentlemen there interest paid i can see the accrued interest at the beginning it was 21 not 21 closing i mean closing yes it was 21 minus the opening the opening year is 27 but now remember this 27 you must make an adjustment for any changes for any changes like uh, here in the year we know that uh, the interest for the year remember this is obligation at the end obligation at the beginning so the interest for the year is given under finance charge which is 400 what year somebody 450 like that which will end up giving us what figure somebody which will end up giving us the interest amount that was paid 400 what year somebody 456 make sure pata straight away ndakumbuka straight away quite easy things here i have the tax the tax that was paid here could you kindly give me the tax working the tax that was paid please give me the tax that was paid uh, negative eh it's negative please give me the tax that was paid it's negative it's negative sorry even from here you can see 21 minus this it's negative the tax that was paid the tax that was paid in the year the tax that was paid in the year remember the asset the 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 the, the subsidy we disposed had some tax had some tax there had some tax the tax paid 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 So on a same negative 144 the tax that was paid please don't work with the tax that was in the income statement only no 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 that is tax for the year 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 some on a same negative 3 negative 3 some on a same negative 3 in phoenix hot 108 i like this class because of diversity everybody has their own figures which is very good the bill says negative 3 so the students who got negative 3 there could you try to write down the working for us try to write down the working for us try to write down the working for us for tax that was paid keep correct thank you very much wanakuja na figure yake 108 negative the students who got negative 3 there could you kindly give us the working that you did for you to be able to get the tax of negative 3 tax ya negative 3 you mnapataje ama tax ya 108 mnapataje tax ya 108 mnapataje the tax that was paid as 108 165 tax paid so aha uh -huh, let's see let's see let's see so we are consolidating everything there so i have deferred tax we are consolidating everything <laughs> I 
Aya. Wacha tuone wale ambao wanapata 108. Wale wanapata 108, hebu tupatie working yenu. Wale wanapata 108 wanachukua 21 minus 63 plus 144 minus 15. So we have minus 21. Let's see. <laughs> pay two eighty five. Pay two eighty five. Ata kama akuna. Well, the gentleman, the tax that was paid here. Let's see the tax that was paid here. Ilikuwa namna gani? So remember that this is a, an obligation that we have there. It's an obligation that we have there. So the tax that was paid at the end of the day, let's combine both a deferred and what year current tax. We have December 174. Uh -huh. 1024 plus 84 plus 15 minus 915. Kila mtu kona yake. Kila mtu akona figa yake. Kila mtu akona figa yake. So problem pale iko wapi? Na hakuna a lot of information. Hakuna a lot of information. So let's do it together. So the tax that was paid. The tax paid. So this is a closing minus opening. Closing minus opening. So the closing here for the tax paid 2017. For the tax pay 2017, so I have 2017 uh, obligations. I can see deferred tax of 1020 plus what year somebody? I can see current tax of 84 minus opening. So opening, I can see 915, 915 plus what year? 63. All right, plus 63. But again, remember that there was a disposal that has to be adjusted in the opening amount. A disposal over how much here somebody? A disposal over how much here somebody? A disposal of 15. A disposal of 15. And then again, remember that there is tax for the year. There is tax for the year. Did you remember tax for the year? Tax for the year. Ilikuwa ngapi somebody tax for the year? Tax for the year. Tax for the year. Ilikuwa 144. So of course, this is increasing this opening. So plus 144. If we be a final answer, that one gap is somebody. Final answer, that could be negative what year? Negative three. So the tax paid is negative three like that. The tax paid is negative three. Tax paid is negative three. Tax paid is negative three. Negative three. Negative three. So ladies and gentlemen, your money will be fixed. I want to believe I've shown you everything that you need for purposes of what year? Low hanging fruits. And if you allow me, I would want to do something a bit different. We are not here to balance anything. I want to believe I've given you the low hanging fruits. NCA takusumbua bure. Takusumbua bure. When your colea, inflow and outflow can be confusing, yes. Inflow and outflow can be confusing, right? Why do you want all the marks? Why do you want all the marks? <laughs> all the marks, I think I've done also this question on YouTube. Not YouTube, I have it somewhere. If you want all the marks, then I should be able to give you. Uh -huh. Great. What are nice of you doing? Mingi. Nilikuwa Bali. Asante teacher Nilikuwa Bali. Asante sada, asante sada, asante sada. How I wish you could have a unit. Angalia uyu sasa. <laughs> Aya, sasa. Sasa. 